Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing's New Horizons. I'm Nye. Okay, yes, you get in my lap. There you go. So, my dog Rose leads me into a topic that I was considering talking about, which is pets. But before we talk about pets, we got morning announcements. Good morning, everyone. Right now in Isle Dechne, it's 1027 a.m. on Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend in our island. Let's give a big Isle Dechne welcome to Pietro. Pietro, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. <laughs> That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Well, thank you, Isabel. I'm glad that we uh, put a lot of effort into our, <laughs> into our morning announcements today. Okay, let's see how much inventory I have. Uh, I did get a crawfish, so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, donate that crawfish. I don't think I had much else that I caught. I didn't really spend a lot of time at all after uh, after doing my recording yesterday in actually doing anything around the island. Um, unfortunately, the whole egg thing... I don't really have much going on here. The whole egg thing, where we're getting eggs instead of, you know, fish, um, is really putting a damper on my ability to just go and collect. So, uh, for the most part, I'm really just ending up waiting for the 12th or, you know, whatever it is. We did get, uh, I did craft, like, the stone egg outfit and stuff like that. Um, but I'm really just waiting for the 12th to roll around um, or whatever day, you know, bunny day is over, the 13th. Before I really look into that, uh, it's just not truly feasible to do much else. Hey, boom. Uh, I can't buy for chat. I don't really have anything to give him. That being said, hold up. Do I, do I have that much in here? Okay, Peanut gave me a thing. Here's that Prezi I couldn't give you the other day. Am I not like the amazingness for remembering? Give my Cray busy sked. I pretty amazed my mad memory skills. Okay, we'll go ahead and see what that is. Here's my stuff. We'll, we'll give him. I'm probably gonna give him the shades, honestly. That sounds like a that sounds like a gift I can give him. Nook, what's up? Uh oh yeah, we got a thousand miles because of our mileage count nonsense. That's right. Okay, there's the sporty shades. We're gonna give him the sporty shades because I already have uh, a set of sporty shades. I'll probably put the electric kick scooter somewhere. Okay, what did what did Peanut give us? A piano bench. Neat. Hey, Boone. 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 Here. You would look amazing. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go talk to Pietro. That's fine. I ha Look, I have a gift for you. Do you want this? Do you want this gift? Check it, bud. Sporty Shades. It's some sporty shades. All right, these will make my brain look super strong. Hell yes. Yeah. This is definitely my style. Time to flex my gratitude muscles. I want you to have a tool cart. Thank you. Appreciate you. So yeah, my family is, uh, how to put it. We are, we're the family that, uh, That I guess uh, PETA is annoyed with. Not and, and it's not. I'm not saying that we we abuse animals. We absolutely don't. My family adores animals. Like we we have always been that family. But we're the family that has a lot of pets. We always have a lot of pets. Um, and it's been like that since. I was a kid. Like, this has been a forever and always sort of thing. Um, I remember back when I was uh, a very young child. Um, God, I think we had like 14 dogs at one point. And I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. I am not this is, this is not an exaggeration. This is not elaboration. Like, this is a legitimate number. Uh, I don't remember all of them anymore, but I know that we had, like, a mutt na name of, uh, um, name of Sam. We had a gold retriever named Wrigley. We had a, 
uh, a Malamute, we had a uh, a Collie, name of Patches, how original. Um, but we th they were all simultaneous, and it's just because my, my family loved animals, and we had a acre of land at the time, uh, which gave us plenty of time to or, and space to give them plenty of space to run around. So they had this gigantic half an acre dog run that was just theirs. Uh, and, you know, my, my, my mom and dad, you know, they, they doted on these animals. Like, these animals... I think we lost that other... No, it's there. Okay. Uh, they doted on these animals. You know, th those... Every single one of these dogs... Keep in mind, these are large dogs. And anybody who knows... Um, kind of animals in general, but dogs specifically. Everybody who is, you know, a, a big dog person knows the larger breeds of dog do not live as long. Uh, that's just kind of the... Um, this is kind of the way things go, right? Uh, excuse me just a second. Sorry about that. Stuff happens. Okay. Luckily, I have a pause button. Also, I saw a peacock. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come here. So, everybody knows who knows large dogs. Uh, and, you know, again, we're, we're talking about a collie. We're talking about uh, collie, standard poodle. Sam was a very large mutt. Um, but anybody who knows dog breeds knows that these large breeds don't have a tendency to live very long. Um, you know, you're talking about like maybe eight to ten years. Uh, our dogs, uh, a little bit less so in modern times, though for completely separate reasons. Uh, unrelated to, um, you know, size and such. But, uh, you know, at the time, our dogs were living 14 to 16 years. Uh, I mean, our dogs nowadays still tend to live about as long, but, uh, you know, we've had a couple dogs recently, like, ended up getting cancer and stuff like that, and there's kind of nothing you can do about that. But, uh, you know, we, we had these dogs for a long time. My family's always been, you know, huge into dogs, and, uh, one of the dogs... I forget the exact condition this happened in. But one of the dogs in question died, and this and this dog was my mom's, my mom's sweetheart, like above and beyond uh, the dogs. I can't remember exactly who it was, because unfortunately, okay, well apparently I'm not catching that one. Uh, I need a lot of cherry blossoms because apparently there's a bunch of cherry blossom gear going around, and uh, it requires a lot of cherry blossoms. Um, one of these dogs was my sweetheart, so <laughs> the response was to get. And keep in mind, we had a lot of dogs had died by this point. Like this, this was this was a number of years later. So when I was a child, uh, Wrigley, I believe the uh, the golden retriever. And keep in mind, I was like four, but Wrigley was big enough that like as a child, I was trying to ride on her back. Um, so after a number of dogs had died, the um, I think it was uh, Charlie, who was a toy poodle, so significantly smaller. These are the dogs. Uh, Charlie was the baby of the family. Like, he was my mom and dad's kid before I was born as the, el as the uh, eldest human child. Um, but when Charlie died, my mom was inconsolable for a while, so my dad's response was to get her four Lhasa Opsos. Uh, but, you know, it was a, you know... We, we, are, we are absolutely that family that PETA hates. The family that, you know, keeps pets. But honestly, from... From perspective of <clears throat> us, of the family, you know, these animals have always been family members for us. Like, it, it's not a, um, it's not a case for us where it's like, oh yeah, the, you know, these animals are just around the house, they just do tasks for us, and, and you know, that is it. Um, what's going on over here? Even I gotta take a break sometimes. Party tiring. Yep, I understand that. Uh, but, you know, it's never... Uh... Let's see, what do we got? I talk to people. Gotta find fossils. Catch bugs. See, it used to be that, ca that catching fish was the more profitable function here. 
but catching bugs more profitable because you can't get eggs instead of bugs. Um, we're going to be tending the flowers. I'm going to be getting fossils assessed. All that's easy. We did get have a nice DIY. We have learned more DIY recipes. I am a knowledge thirsty sidekick. Okay. Anything else fun in here that we did recently? Nope. I'll start trying to hunt some of those. Okay, this balloon. Don't care. I don't care about. I don't care about the. Uh, um. I don't care about the Easter balloons. As far as I can tell, I have all of the Easter uh, stuff at this point. Um. But yeah, like I I know families and uh, have been friends with families who the the animals in the house are just that they are, um, they're animals and they're they're nothing more than that. Uh, for my family, it's it's always been a little bit different. You know, our our pets are family, and you know what I mean by that is that, and I I think what makes a little bit of distinction is that generally in our family. Unless there's a specific situation that requires otherwise, and, and there has been uh, in some cases. But unless there's a specific situation that requires otherwise, um, our pets don't sleep outside. They typically don't even sleep on the floor. Uh, in general, in my family, our pets sleep on the bed with us. Uh, I know uh, uh, Rose, my dog, is a uh, prime example of this. Um, she sleeps on the bed with me. She sleeps under the covers with me. Um, you know, yes, there's something to be said about, you know, human food versus dog food. Um, but, you know, they, they sleep with us. They're always with us. It's kind of a different thing. I have, I, I know families who their dogs are purely outdoors or purely, you know, you, you, the dogs only stay in their crate at night. Um, which, oops, no, I, I want my flannel shirt for now, we'll, we'll talk about the chow tea later, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, like, there's, I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not meaning to call any, any people out who, uh, that is how they, um, you know, how they interact with their pets, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm saying that's not our family, our family is, uh, very much the animals are their their family members. They are they are with us every step of the way. Um, you know, in my car. Uh, let's see, which one did I just do? Is it? It might be Samba. Yeah. It's, it's always been that way for us. Uh, at, I mean, at this at this point in our lives, uh, pretty much every family member. At this point, you know, every one of my sisters, my mom, and me, pretty much all of us have a companion animal at some point, or at, at this point. Um, unfortunately, my sister just had to, uh, had to put down one of hers, um, and, uh, my eldest sister does not have, uh, a companion animal at this point. I don't think, she, she, she's not much of a pet person, I don't really think she ever has been. But for a while, four out of the five of us had a companion, uh, a companion dog, uh, and we've had, you know, we've had a variety of different animals. We never really got much into uh, fish. N nobody in the family was ever much into fish because we we like to be able to interact, not just pet, but we want to we want to go on trips. We want to. Uh, I cannot tell you how many uh, road trips we have taken where we have had the dogs in the car with us, either in a crate or on laps. Um. You know, we like to be able to pet them. We like to be able to sit with them. Uh, little Rose, who is uh, my dog, who you guys have probably heard me talk about and interact with, even while I'm recording one on stream. Uh, she's in my lap right now. Um, that is, she knows that it's her accustomed place, and uh, she is also extremely well aware, as the spoiled brat that she is, uh, that she will eventually get into my lap if she looks at me uh, hard enough with those eyes. Um... But, you know, we we, we like interacting. So f fish, not so much. Once upon a time, I, I do have a childhood memory of, of uh, birds. But uh, I think birds kind of had the same, uh, the same feel for us. That um, there wasn't much in the way of interaction. Now, I know a lot of bird, uh, bird fanciers. I think that's the word. Fanciers? 
Uh, a lot of a lot of bird people are gonna tell me that no, you can absolutely interact with your birds. And I, you know, I'm, I'm aware of a lot of people who, you know, they teach their birds words, they they sing with their birds, they pet their birds. Um, for me, it, it, I don't I don't like the. I'm not as big a fan of birds as I am other animals. But uh, you know, we we love interacting with our with our pets. Um, yeah, it's reached a point for me that in my car. So I have a I have a small you know four door sedan. I have a uh, uh, I have a Corolla. Uh, in my Corolla, you know I have the, the back the back seat is covered with the with the little uh, seat cover hammock. So that way, uh, Zulu, our our Great Dane, uh, he can come with me on rides and such uh, without shedding all over everything or letting his gigantic claws tear up the upholstery. Uh, little Rose is even better off. I have one of those booster seats for her. Um, if you haven't seen them, they're basically like a, a square bucket that drapes on the seat. It's held up by the, uh, um, it's held up by, like, the headrest. And, uh, it wraps around, like, the middle of the seat. So it allows her to sit and ride high up, so that way she can see out the windows without having to kind of, like, get up on things. And it also has a seat belt. It actually has a, um, a little, uh, a little buckle that wraps around the, uh, shoulder strap of the regular seat belt. And then attaches to a harness that I have on her. So she has her own seat belt in my car. But those those are constant fixtures. Like if a human gets in my car, I have to take those down. But if no if no human's getting in my car, those those are fixtures of my car at this point. They never come down. They never come off. And that's kind of the the level of uh, interaction and kind of dedication you know I have. Uh, you know, I remember watching, um, what's the movie, Snow Dogs, with, uh, with Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, in Snow Dogs, there was a line, um, oh, hey, I get to give Peanut something. Peanut, what do I want to give you? Do I have anything fun to give you? Here, Peanut, I'll be, I'll, I'll be back with a gift. I'll, I'll, I'll be, here, I'll, I'll be back with a gift. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm probably not going to pay off my house for a little bit. I'm probably going to be working on ramps and uh, bridges for a short while. Oh, no. There's a red and blue one. Damn. Uh, but, yeah. So. Let's see. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. But yeah, we're going to work on other, other stuff uh, for the time being. As, as time moves on. Um, okay, we're going to get rid of some sky eggs, some water eggs, because I just do not need as many as I have. Is that good? Yeah. That's a number I like. Okay, let's go ahead and buy... I think I might have had the cordless phone already, but I'll go ahead and buy that one. Just to make sure it's in my uh, catalog. Pop up toaster, absolutely. What was I saying? Um, I mean, th these are these are things that are constantly in. Um, th th they're they're constantly in my car. So my my car is more uh, more suited for my dogs to come with me uh, than for pe you know people to come with me. And this has been, you know, this is not something new for my family. This is not something that's different. Uh, this has been a constant state for my family for all of my life. Let's see. I think I'm going to grab the natural block flooring. I like that. I like the blue tile. Uh, do I like gray stripe? Maybe, maybe not so much. I like the bamboo screen, though. Go ahead and grab that, too. I kind of like the light wood pattern, but we're going to pass on that for now. Uh, I mean, you know, my family, uh, has kind of always been like this for, for as long as I can remember. You know, we did, uh, we did, you know, we did birds once upon a time. We did rabbits once upon a time. I did mice, hamsters. We've, it, pretty much every major 
pet you can think of my family has tried. And, you know, we, we kind of settled... Hey, we got Sahara. We settled on dogs uh, eventually. I think part of it is that it's... Dogs are a more... Okay, I think once you miss once, you're done. Dogs are a more constant companion. I think that's kind of a... Um, a kind of a thing for us is that we don't want to lose... Uh, again, you know, I... Saying the word pet doesn't really kind of fit us most of the time. Um... Okay. That's kind of less than I paid for it, but sure. It's kind of weird to say the word pet, because that kind of implies a kind of different relationship. It's, you know, companion is kind of more the word I want to use, because it kind of fits better for how we interact with these dogs. But we don't want to lose our... Um... Yeah, we don't like losing our, our, our companions, our pets. So that's why, like, I, I've had ferrets. Um, you know, one of my... <clears throat> one of my memories is... Uh, what are you doing? You're making a tea table? Oh, I absolutely want to make the tea table. Please teach me how to make the tea table. Thank you. Anything else you want to say to me? Let's chat. Yep, Bambi is a rare star. My boys come up with my own alias against ever needed to skedaddle. Ah, I like his personality already. Oh, hey, kiddo. Okay. Ah, God, I don't care about Bunny Day. Like, two weeks of lead up. Jeez. Any big week fans? You're a big believer in taking time to relax at the end of the week during the week, too. Yeah, no, that's about right. Okay, let's, uh. Head off and move on. I, I, have, I have a memory of having a ferret who uh, got very, very sick. Um, never really quite figured out what she got sick with. Um, but she got very sick. She wouldn't eat. Um, and and I, I tried so hard. And eventually, uh, you know, we took her to the doctor. The doctor really couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, And eventually, it became a thing where uh, she just ended up dying. And I remember, um, I, I wasn't as young as, you know, you might expect for the way this story is going to pan out. But I was trying to figure out how I could help her. So I decided that uh, what she needed, we got a cherry dress. Neat. I said what she needed was warmth. So I took her into the bathroom and ran a hot bath. And, uh you know, got into the bath with her to hold her and try to uh, keep her warm uh, didn't end up working out. Uh, she kept shivering, 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 and actually literally died in my arms. And part of me is like, you know, well, at the very least, you know, I was there holding her, but also it's like, I wish I could have done more. But we, you know, we are at a place in my family where, you know, we, we don't really look for a companion that is going to be leaving us in three to five years. You know, I, I adore, like, uh, if it's not dogs, for me, it's rodents. I love rodents of all types. You know, it, 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 rats, uh, gerbils, mice, uh, freaking uh, gerboa, um, you know, chinchillas, you, you you name it. Like if it is a rat, if if it's a if, if it's a rodent type, uh, I am a fan, and I always have been. It's, it's been a thing all my life. I love rodents in general, and uh, I'm trying to. I'm actually trying to break this shovel before we uh before we go and hit that next rock. But I, ad I adore rodents of all, all shapes, sizes. So, you know, if, if, it, if it was just a, a basic question of, hey, what animal do you, know, do you want to bring in and want to spend time with? Uh, you know, and I'll also have ferrets. Uh, you know, I, I would be, I'd be saying stuff like that. The problem is, and I know ferrets are mustelids. You know, I got it. Um, but the problem is that while I would love to say that, there's two problems. One, I'm allergic. So, I can't interact with them as much as I want to. Like, I would love to just spend my entire day with, uh, let me see what color this balloon is. Okay, I don't care. I'd love to spend 
literally my entire day with like a ferret in my lap or something like that or you know or a you know a rat across my shoulder or something like that because they're they're so they're cute they're cuddly they're so warm and friendly uh it, it you know that that was an amazingly lovely thing whenever i actually got a chance to do it but not only is there an allergy problem which you know let's let's be honest if it wasn't for the the next problem that i'm about to bring up the allergy thing, I would deal with it. Like, I am slightly allergic to some of my dogs, but I'm willing to put up with it. I'm willing to take allergy meds. I'm willing to, you know, do some of these other things in order to make sure they're in my life. So, it's, you know, there, there's... And the, the allergy is a thing, but it's not the thing in the whole of the thing, you know? Um, the problem is it's lifespan. You know, I unfortunately... These specific animals mentioned the, the rodents and the you know the mustelids that can actually stay in your home with you. They only live for like two to five years. They don't live for very long. And while that is an amazing two to five years, you know you're you're gonna get because because I, I don't wanna I don't wanna sit here and have those of you who are like man I'm really looking for a companion of my own and I'm looking for recommendations. I'm not saying don't do it because it is an amazing two to five years. These these animals are fantastic. They are great to have with you. Uh, and they are extraordinarily loving and intelligent and, you know, compassionate animals that I highly recommend. But it's definitely one of those things where it's just, they leave you all too fast. And, you know, I'm getting attached to, the, uh, attached to these animals. They are, you know, again, they are, these are companions. These are you know, family members, you know, to lose them after, you know, one, two, three years, it's just a huge, a huge thing. Whereas with, you know, a dog, like, especially little Rosa's size, my hope is that she's, you know, she's been with me for two and a half years now. She's three and a half. Um, my hope is that she's going to be with me for another ten. Or more, hopefully, actually. Um, little dogs tend to live longer, so I'm really hoping that she's going to be uh, one of those dogs that hits, you know, 18, 19, 20. Uh, but that's definitely a thing that's kind of on my mind, is that I I really am not looking for a companion that I lose after a short period of time. And I've had, you know, it, it kind of goes without saying, all of these animals that we've had... The majority of them have died. Now, keep in mind, you know, they lived great lives with us. We're aware of it. Like, you know, we we very much took care of them. They lived, in general, they lived their lives to the fullest. Like, I can't think of a single, a single one of these pets that we have had that did not live. Uh, barring health problems. A couple, a couple of them had, like, we, we had a black lab who ended up having tumors everywhere over his respiratory system and even the vets were you know we had multiple vets take a look at him we sent off his test results to uh a couple different places nationwide to try to diagnose what was going on with him and they could never really figure it out uh but you know we we barring weird health issues like that our animals always lived the upper bounds of estimated uh estimated lifespan of that type of animal you know small dog large dog rat you know they've all they've always lived towards the upper bounds barring some extremely weird health issue so it absolutely ends up being one of those things uh, okay arpdiopteryx parasaur tail megacera skull okay i've got diplo pelvis today okay Time to go sell some stuff. But even when you have, you know, the smaller animals that do... Even if they live longer than you were expecting them to, you know, to, to lose them after two or three years, you know, it definitely hurts. And some people are able to... Some people are able to do that. I know, I, I know a bunch of people who... Uh, who have had rats, uh, which rats are one of the few, uh, types of animals that I have never had a chance to, uh, to really have in my life as much as I would love to, like, 
I've never really tried rats, and I've heard amazing things. Like, no! God damn it, I keep on doing that. Sahara, it's your fault. I am calling you Sahara. Please give me rugs. So let me get a rug. I will take a small rug. Uh, you know, I, I would love to try rats, but I, I know for a fact that they just, they, they die, you know? Um, let me go ahead and take this, take this ticket. And I also need to go and snag these butterflies. Uh, but I, you know, I've known, I've known some folks who are, you know, who love rats, and they'll, you know, uh, they do, they do the typical... Uh, the typical thing that I know a lot of people do, which is uh, they'll have like seven rats at a time, or they'll have they'll have a number of rats, not just one. It's you know you know rats and ferrets and mice. You have you have in at least pairs, if not more than that. So you know one dies, but hey, there's another one that's still in the family, and you know we we'll replaced the one that died, so we still have a, a good number. I can't do that. Just, there's just something about, you know, these animals that are... Yes, chances are you will get a new companion to live with you, you know, uh, after after some months or after a year or a little bit more than that. You know, eventually you will have another one live with you. But... You know, for me, it's, like, I, I can't do that really quick, you know, two or three days later. I, I really can't. And I, I make such an attachment with each individual each individual pet. But it's always been a thing for us. We've, we've always had lots of, uh, lots of pets. It's, it's literally, like, literally always been since, you know, since I was, uh, young, young, young. Okay, we're gonna try and we're gonna hope that this is not we're gonna hope that we don't find the money rock and you know lose tons of money because my thing breaks oh you're exercising okay yes 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 funny day yes 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 but it's it's literally everything i can remember so like when i was young young when i was you know two three four and it's never stopped. Oh, there goes, <laughs> there goes my net. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious how you guys feel about it. As I said, I know, uh, you know, I know families who, for them, a pet is a pet is a pet. Uh, it better be, you know, the pet better be, uh, better be well behaved, better be well trained, um, and that's about it. Like that is the end of the conversation. Uh, you know, it's nice to have the dog. Let's have them sit by our feet at the fireplace. But that's about it. You know, we're not we're not looking for much. We're not looking for. So I know families who have done that. I know families who are like us, who uh, you know, the the uh, the animals are um, close family members who are always with them. Uh, I know families who uh, do not do pets at all. Like cannot stand animals. Uh, so I I know I know people all across the uh, spectrum there. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong, with, in my opinion, with how any given person actually does it, as long as you're not, uh, abusing, you know, your pets, as long as your pets are living good lives with you, uh, and they're, you know, comfortable and happy, I think that, that, that's all that, you know, I ask as a, uh, damn it, I don't have nets, um, I mean, that, that's all I ask as a person who is concerned for the well-being of animals, and I want them to, you know, I want them to be happy and safe. That's all that I ask, is that, you know, they, they're happy, safe, fed, they got a roof over their head, and they're loved. Uh, but people, you know, show that love in different ways for different animals. So I'm curious about how you guys, uh, you know, how you guys do it in your families. You know, are you the types that always have uh, pets in the family? Do you never? Uh, is it a, is it an every so often thing? And it takes you a couple years to get a new pet once uh, once you lose one. Uh, I'm kind of curious, kind of where you guys fall on that um, on that line. By the way, I have I have been in case you're curious, I have been craft. Ooh, 
Okay. Those are new. Uh, I have been crafting basically whenever I can. Um, so you'll see that, like, a lot of this stuff uh, I have the check mark for. I have been crafting literally as it becomes available to craft. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that you've seen me gather um, in the recent past, a lot of those uh, recipes, I actually have crafted. We have a lot of them actually in our uh, in our house's storage. So I've been doing most of them. Uh, we have gotten a bunch of recipes recently that I haven't had a chance to craft. Uh, the bunny day stuff is actually extremely annoying because of the requirements. So the leaf eggs are the worst because only... Like, you only have, like, four, um, it's like, it's like four trees in the entire, uh, in the entire village that will actually have leaf eggs. So that's 12 leaf eggs, but leaf eggs you need, you know, you need, like, four or five of them per craft. So we're still working on it. We got the egg party hat. I need to see, here's two more leaf eggs for that. Um, for the... Let's see. What, I, I missed the other egg thing. I want to make this. I need clay for that. That's easy. There was another bunny. Oops. These are recipes. There's also the egg party dress. I need three more leaf eggs for that. We could make the cherry blossom umbrella, which I'm tempted to do. But I really, I do want the uh, cherry blossom branches first. Because I, I would actually display that in the house. See, I need like, what, two? Yeah, two more for the feet there. So, two, four, I need, what, seven more leaf eggs? I'll probably be able to get that tomorrow. Yeah, let me know, uh, you know, let me know what you guys have done in terms of, in terms of pets. You know, where your, where your family sits, how, you know, how you guys, how you guys do that. Um, you know, I want to know all about your pets. So, especially if you, if you want to gush about, uh, the animals you have spent your lives with, I want to hear. Uh, those those are stories I love to hear about what your animals do with you. Uh, I know, uh, you know, in terms of like little Rose here, um, yeah, you know, she's always in my lap. Uh, she loves she she loves being a lap dog. So right now she is snoozing over my thigh. Uh, if I go in the car and it's someplace that like I I don't like leaving her in the car uh, unless it's like midwinter in which you know, if if the if the temperature is like 40 to 50 uh, Fahrenheit, uh, I will leave her in the car. But anything higher than that, I won't leave her in the car for like any length of time. Um, the literal exception to that rule, and it's a very slight exception, is that if I'm running in to pick up like a to-go order for food. Um, so I am like literally out of the car for two to five minutes at most. So, uh, if it's something like that, I might leave her in for that. But, like, I won't go into Walmart, uh, and leave her in the car. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, it's not safe for her. It's, you know, sh I, I don't want her to, um, I don't want her to overheat. And I also don't want people to, you know, one, one of the things I'm definitely worried about is I don't want people to think she's being abused either. You know, I don't want someone to 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 break open my car to to help her when she doesn't need help when I'm when I'm right there and I'm very aware of how long I'm going to be inside of a inside of a building. You know, I understand there's a lot of a lot of those good citizens out there who are actively looking to make sure that no animals abused. I'm I'm very well aware, uh, and I you know I agree with them that you know we we really do not want to. Uh, you know, we don't want to put a dog in a situation where the dog is overheating or something like that. So, very well aware there. Um, but yeah, I tried to never, never put her in that situation. But if I'm going for, if I'm going for a ride to like go through a drive-through or something, uh, she's with me. Um, I'm, I've been looking. Uh, I haven't found one yet. So if you, if you know one of these. Um, let me know, because I'm actually, I'm actively interested. Um, I've been looking for, like, a good backpack that I can put her in, uh, so I can take her bike riding with me. Uh, the stuff that I have seen, in case you're curious, has all been these, uh, there's been these really big backpacks, which I've been, um, 
I've definitely been tempted to do. They're like these really big mesh things. Um, look, they look kind of like a quarter circle sort of deals. I've seen those, which uh, seem potentially doable, but they're like 80 bucks for a good one. And then I've also seen uh, like these front hanging pouches that hang off of your chest. Uh, but I'd be worried she'd jump out because she uh, she very much is that type of dog. Uh, I'd be concerned she would jump out of it. Um, it's the only reason I haven't gone for those. I keep on forgetting I have this Apple umbrella and I didn't... Um, didn't end up crafting it. Uh, let's see, what else do we got in here we can craft? We've gotten all the new the new town stuff. So we have destination signpost, hardwood, softwood, regular wood, hardwood, clay, wood, and a flimsy shovel for Brickwell. Interesting. Uh, drinking fountain. Okay, so I need a drinking fountain for this. Stone, iron nugget. Need cherries. Need earth eggs. Need hardwood. Okay, I think I have all that, so we can go look into that um, soon. We need to go see Pietro. Oh, hey. There she is. But she's, she's literally always with me. Uh, Zulu is uh, very similar. He is currently three feet away from me. He's sleeping on his bed. Um, he is a very big sleep dog. He loves his naps. But I'm, I, I, I do want to know, you know... How your how your animals uh, interact with you? How you you know what you do with them? I you know I adore gushing about about my pets. I do. Like I I've spent spent up uh, freaking forty minutes so far. Sahara, I will get your thing right now, but there's there's a balloon I have to check on. Where is it? Okay, it's not a balloon I care about. Let's get the mystery. Uh, but yeah, like, um... Okay, let's see what the mysterious wallpaper is. The mysterious wallpaper is a mere 3,000 bells. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's do mysterious flooring. Okay, so what did we get? So we got red dotted rug, medium black, uh, simple medium black mat, ramshackle flooring, laboratory wall, neat. And I have seven Sahara tickets. Sahara, I'm not done with you. Let's make a trade. Uh, I want a mysterious wallpaper. Okay. And that gave me a dig site wall. Interesting. Okay. And let's do a large rug. I'll go ahead and buy that. I can give away one of these. Mostly I just want the three extra tickets so I can get the other uh, the other thing she has. Look at Chatter over there watching us. He's being creepy. Of, cor of course, that's how he exercises. Do you want the mysterious flooring? Yes. We have money. I can afford all this. Okay, I'm I'm very curious. So is the is this always the same? Okay, yeah, it's always the same. You can only get one of each. Interesting. So what is crosswalk flooring? Interesting. Let's go put some stuff away. We still have to do some shopping. We still have to go do our uh, our clothing shopping, and we still got to check to see what's actually in the uh, in the uh, machine. 
Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Cherry blossom branches, earth egg outfit, earth shell, crosswalk, laboratory wall, ramshackle, simple medium, red dotted, dig site, cherry blossom umbrella, and I'll see if I can give a red dotted to someone like Pietro or something like that. All right, and then I have, I'll have to see if I can have a friend who needs these DIY recipes. So let me know about your, about your pet stories. I want to know. Can you show me? Okay, apparently me stretching means that little Rose has to sit up. So hold on, she needs to do her stretching too. She is the most, excuse me, that's my controller. Can you not press buttons? She's the most spoiled little thing. She really is. And she knows it too, which is the worst thing. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is for you. What is it? It is a red dotted rug. Is that a red dotted rug? For me? Seriously? All right, but no take backers. Here's 650 bills. Okay. Oh my god, this dog is so spoiled. She is currently uh, sitting on my lap. She does this all the time, so this is not like a new thing that she does. But she's sitting on my lap, and she's leaning firmly against my chest and looking up at me. It's really cute, but it's very much that, uh, you know, she wants attention. She, she wants hugs and cuddles. She'll have to wait. <gasps> they got a crown. Okay, first of all, let's go say hi to Sable. It's great that you're such a loyal customer and everything, but I've just got a ton of work to get through. Thanks for understanding. So she's talking more to me lately. Okay, let's go. Let's go actually buy some stuff. I do need the fitting room. Yes. Okay, let's buy. So what do we got? So we got a college cardigan, a nurse's jacket, nice, a school jacket, sleeved apron. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start with the college card again. Uh, I like the blue. Okay. Um, we already have the acid wash jeans. So, I think a sailor skirt will do. Yep. Um, ooh, a ballet outfit. Nice. I definitely have to have this crown. Like, there's a hot dog hood. I have to have this crown. Butterfly shades? Butterfly shades. Uh, I like the retro shades. We're absolutely going for some of these. We might need to get the golden ladder shades, too. Let's see. We're definitely going to get some patterns. I like the white ones. We're definitely going to get some pattern stockings. And then... Ooh. Oh, look. Ooh, they got shoe options. Okay. Well, I think... Do we have loafers? I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think that'll... I, I don't have enough... Be oh, it's the crown, ain't it? Yeah. I didn't realize how much that was. Damn it! You know how rare this has to be. Man, I want that crown, but I don't have 1.2 million bells. Oh, that sucks. Fine, I'll buy a hot dog hood. Okay. I'm trying to figure, is there any possible way I can make 1.2 million bells before that rotates? Uh... I'm kind of annoyed they don't have, like, the, the, the green nurse's outfit. The, the green scrubs. School pants? I like the school pants. Um, let's see. What else do I need? Did I get the butterfly shades? Let's make sure we get the butterfly shades. Striped socks. I like the trekking shoes. Part of me, part of the reason I'm getting, um, I'm getting all of this, by the way, is, uh, in case I have friends who, um, oh, I like the outfit. In case I have friends, yeah, in, just in case I have friends, wouldn't you know? Yeah, I like it. Um, you never know when I will actually have friends. 
Um, but part of it is, you know, in case I have friends who want some of this stuff, so I can order it again for them. And some of the stuff I'll actually wear. Okay, I think the only thing I don't... Okay, sleeve apron. Kind of like that one. Um... Yeah, it's mostly just the chest stuff we're getting now. So there's a sleeved apron. I really wish it didn't it, it didn't make it so you could only have one chest piece per. I understand why it doesn't in case you want to wear it out, but it does make it a little bit difficult. Um, oh, you got to go with the purple and gold. Yep, that's my outfit. I do look great. You're, you're exactly right. Okay, and out we go. Yeah, but I want to make sure people have a chance to, you know... Hey, have you have you seen the, the, the crown? I have it. Come get it. Like, I'm going to tell my friends. I have no idea who's actually going to have 1.2 million bells. Um, but I'm going to let my friends know about that. What's up, Chatter? <laughs> You've been thinking about Z? Yeah, I'm I'm very aware of Z. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So this is the new house here. Oh, hello. No, it's gone. Damn, they're both gone. So this should be Pietro's house. Let's go visit Pietro. Here's Pietro. Oh, I like this floor. Thanks again for inviting me here. Thanks to you, I made my big Isle Deck to debut today. I think I'm going to be a big star here, but first I've got to do some unpacking to do, so we'll see you around. Yep, we have a clown sheep. The house of Pietro is open for business. Oh, God, are you, do you have the same outfit as, or same attitude as Chatter? I don't think so. I, I love this floor, this misty floor. What, what exactly are you sweeping off of the misty floor? Okay, so we're actually doing pretty well in terms of filling up the uh, island. I think we have two spots left, and I think one of them is spoken for. This one's not sold yet. Might be able to get someone in the campsite. Alternatively, I might be able to uh, to go to a mystery island and find someone to fill that one up. Okay. So let's check on a couple things. An exercise ball. Neat. And another cardboard box. I still have cardboard box stuff to build. Okay. Let's go ahead and access our nook stop. Anything cool in the nook miles? So... Country fence, I think we need. There's just, there's just a couple of, there's a couple of things, a couple of like menuing decisions that I think uh, the game needs to rethink a little bit. Okay, we definitely need that drinking fountain because without the drinking fountain, I can't make the, uh, the major fountain. Okay. Anything else we really want right now? Not really. Anything I want to buy that I can just put on the island somewhere? I kind of want to do a phone box and just randomly put the phone box somewhere. You know, kind of in kind of in reference to like uh the newer of uh, the newer Avengers movie. Not a not Disney's Avengers, the the Jonathan Steed and Emma Peel uh, Avengers. Okay, let's see what's going on in Nook Shopping. Nook Shopping is being a little bit less interesting as of late because of the fact that it's like very specific items. And let's get a new type of denim pants. And KK Parade. Okay. 
So how much money am I donating at the end of the day today? Okay, 46,000 isn't bad. We are one-tenth the way to, to taking care of our, uh, of our current house build. But as I said, we're probably going to be looking at uh, ramps and bridges for a little bit. Make my life a little bit easier. And let's go talk to Isabel for the end of the day. Talk about island valuations with me. Okay, we got a two-star rating. We went up. There's some positive buzz floating around about our island. Folks starting to take notice. Okay, so what's, what's the feedback? I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority, and I've got ideas. Here's one. I feel like a fella's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if that place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle, add some bustle, make your island a port call that turns heads and drops anchors. Well, okay. There you have it. According to recent feedback, the general sentiment is that this island lacks appealing scenery. There's only one way to respond to this information. Decorate the entire island head to toe or stream to sea. The island's not small, which means it'll take plenty of furniture and such to dress it up to the nines. Variety is preferable, but I hear you can use Nook Shopping to buy something you've bought before. Okay, so we need more actual furniture around. Came across a number of reports that have mentioned an overabundance of trees in our island. Apparently, there have been a few instances of folks getting lost in the woods and fearing for the worst. Okay, so we do actually have too many trees. Good to know. Like this is the favorite TV program. I love trees as much as you do, but if our residents feel the island is now too rural, we need to listen. And there you have it. Okay, so we will... Uh, I'll go cut down a few trees, which is fine. I'll just have to figure out... I'll just have to make sure I know which tree is... Uh, which tree is which, because I don't want to actually cut down fruit trees. But that shouldn't be much of a problem right now, because fruit trees are the green ones. So yeah, we do have too many trees. So I'll go ahead and cut some down. And I'll uh, transplant some of the ones that we do have. Uh, to kind of spread them out a little bit. If that makes sense. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be about it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. I always do. As I said, let me know about your... Uh... Let me know about your pets. I do want to know. So, let me know about how pets and your family interact. What bugs am I after? I'm after a lot of bugs. I can't tell you about which ones, but I'm after a lot. See, like, we can we can get rid of some of this right here. So, I'm probably going to cut down, like, two or three trees, and then I'll talk to, uh, talk to Isabel and see where we are. And then kind of do it like that. So hopefully by the time I get back and talk to you guys again, the trees will be in a better place. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later.